Are you tired of the better at Marvel Snap? Yes. Are you looking for a new interesting way to learn the game and also maybe even learn a whole new archetype and simply just have some fun? Yes. Well, you have come to the right place, my friend. Now, look, today we are playing with a deck called Craven Ramp, okay? Now, as it typically sounds, you're, you're trying to rip up Craven with doing move stuff and this, you know, let me just explain it to you. Hold on, break it down for you. Today's deck composes of Echo, Kitty Pride, Angela Craven, Armor, Silk, Juggernaut, Polaris, Spider Man, Vision, American Chavez, and Magneto. Now, while I break it down to you, I'm gonna have some gameplay going on right over here so y'all can see what I'm doing as I tell you how I do it, okay? Now, look. Now, yes, the deck is more so about. Ramping up Craven. Now, how you do that, right? You want to put Craven. I, I, me personally, I like to put Craven in the middle or the left, only because the, only, most of the move cards in the game that you probably have access to move cards to the left or the middle. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's typically why I like to put Craven middle or left. Now, if you have things like Ghost Spider, right, or even Silk, you can maybe put Craven right, or you know what I'm saying, play him a little more freely. But that's just how you typically should play Craven, middle or left. Armor is put in here just for take, okay? If I'm going against Destroy, I'm able to stop that with armor, okay? You're going to be able to see that. I have an example in the gameplay, okay? Just keep watching. Silk, definitely one of the MVPs of this deck. If you don't have Silk, maybe do Nightcrawler or, you know, some other kind of card that moves for a cheap cost. You know what I'm saying? The only other one I got right now is Nightcrawler. They're coming out with some more stuff. I'll break that down with y'all in another video. They're coming up with a lot of different cards, though. Juggernaut. Typically, you want to play Juggernaut on turn 6, only because if you have everything set up the way you want it set up, when you play Juggernaut on 6, you know for a fact they're going to have to play here, they're going to have to play here, or they're going to try to have to contest here, whatever the case may be. Juggernaut completely stops that. It doesn't matter if they already play, depending on what they play. So, priority with Juggernaut isn't always an issue, but typically you want to have the priority. That way you just completely stop whatever they could be doing right then and there, okay? So priority with Dragonite on turn six is really good, but Dragonite on six, regardless, is just simply a good play. Polaris, you wanna put Polaris on Craven to pull things to Craven to buff up Craven, Craven ramp, right? Spider-Man, um, when you do move stuff, Spider-Man becomes a one cost, it's a one five, super good value, simply just a good card to put in his deck. Vision, turn five, five, eight, you move it every single turn. If somehow you're able to get Vision out early, do that, okay? I don't care if you have a, a place that up. Put Vision out early if you can, okay? I say that because he is the safest card in the game. One, two, you can move him every single turn. I'm sorry, you wanna buff Craven, right? So put out Vision, Vision as early as possible. Yes, that's what you wanna do, okay, if you can. Chavez, that's simply for a consistency. I wanna get these cards as much as possible, okay? Magneto, um, if you are able to put Magneto on Craven, let's say Craven is kinda a little like a two, four, maybe even two, six. If you put Magneto on Craven and he has a little space for you to kind of push push some cards to him, yeah, Craven is Craven is very very cracked with Magneto. Okay, that's a very good synergy if you're able to pull it off. But that's the deck. Um, like I say, just play with it, have some fun. Some of y'all don't like move. Move is one of the best archetypes in the game, if you ask me. Kind of next to the story, but just play with the deck a little bit, have a little fun. Throw some cards in. Like I say, some of y'all might not have Echo. If you don't have Echo, maybe throw in what. Nebula, if you don't have Nebula, throw in um, maybe Sunspot, or if you have if Ghost Spider, throw in Ghost Spider, you know, this is still a move essence type of deck. I know what they're doing, they could really make a lot happen. And a lot of these cards discounted, like Silk for instance, Juggernaut, Craven Armor, like those cards discounted will hurt so much against me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you didn't play, that's fine, that's fine, that's okay. I'm probably going to end up playing Magneto mid as well, because that's just a, a lot of power. And I kind of want to keep that mid um, strength. I appreciate all the mid stuff they're giving me. Uh, okay, I can get an early vision down. Uh, yeah, I, see, I'm excited about playing things like vision early, you know? That's how, you know, I'm a baser as far as, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, first of all, vision is one of the best um, move cards in the game, if you ask me. If you ask me, this is one of the best move cards in the game. So being able to play Vision early, yeah. GG's easy, bro. GG's easy, bro. GG's easy, bro. Okay, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. I honestly don't know what I'm setting up for. I have a lot of random cards, so I'm just playing randomly. I'm just trying to keep this middle dominance. Um, so I can just get these extra points on the other sides, and I'm just trying to do my thing, you know? Like I said, I'm doing Magneto mid for sure. That just has to happen. And he's, I guess he just wants these three points as well, so. Avengers! Assemble. Well, okay, all right, man. Opponent snap. It's an early snap, bro. It's just turn six. 
You do something like this and mess your whole groove up. Little do you know. Um, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep vision. Right there. We're gonna keep vision right there. Did I? Did I? Did anything discard? No, I don't think so. All right, let's do this. Let's just do this. Polaris should be a really good play. If I played Ghost Rider, that just would have been a, a very naked Ghost Rider. Okay, Bishop, Cerebro. That's a very random Cerebro. And uh, I think we win with this play right here. Honestly, um, I, I could have kept Agent 13 right there, but you know, I think we win with this. Nah. Vision back left. I think Vision left is a strong, is just super strong. He, he almost has to play left. He's probably going to play mid as well, simply because, you know, there's another car he can play there. And he just wants the priority. See? You know? But I'm going for power. That's all I wanted was the power. So what does he play here? He has to really help. Sheesh. Did that? I'm so like, did that help you really? No. That was bad. Yeah, that was bad, bro. He was just thinking about power there. That's why, that's the only reason why he lost that right there. That was, hey, you know. I really want to try to go against a Loki deck. And I only say that because I haven't went against a Loki deck with this deck yet. And I think it'd be nice. I don't know how nice, but I think it'd be nice. Um, I do kind of want to get some early plays over here, but I'm gonna be honest, Echo is best played in the middle. But they typically forget about Echo. Typically, people just forget about her. Mm, that's fine. Um, this is actually kind of good, especially with Miniaturized Lad being there. This is kind of good, y'all. I think I'm gonna do the. I, I think I'm gonna do Craven mid for sure, but I think I'm gonna do Angela first. Okay. Just for those two points, huh? Go for it, bro. Got you, got you. All right, now we can do something like Craven. Yeah, Craven, and then we can hopefully we pull it to Kitty Pride or something, or Silk. Like Silk would be ideal, but let's not stack too much power there. Let's go here. That's fine. Wind aid my I have, hand. I have, I have moved cards, so like Storm is not a threat to me. I'm okay with Storm. I'm okay with Storm. I like Storm, actually. Storm is pretty cool. He's a cool character. A cool person, man. Cool beings, you know? Uh, I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Yeah. I, th I think that's the better play. More points. What does he do here? Okay. Okay. You still lose. That sucks, bro. Unless you have Patriot. If you have Patriot, that'd be cool. Uh, turn five. I'm going to okay. Boom. We get um, we get Kitty now. But it's too late for you. Let's go ahead and vision right here. So maybe we can vision into um, flooded or even miniaturized lab, and then like play Magneto on the last turn. I feel like that'd be the best option. Okay, if that goes to Marvel, that goes a option for sure. I still beat that unless he has onslaught. Onslaught. I'm thinking onslaught. I'm thinking onslaught. I think this is I think this is what we do here. See, you know, um, I really just takes I, I take I just really spread his power out so much. This moves three and four. This is a two. This is a three, and this is a two. So I move Storm pretty much. That's a hey, that's 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 three solid power moves across the board, right? That's that's not something he wants. Okay, I'm able to disrupt him. That's GG's, bro. And GG's, and he left me a space. Let's go. He left me one space. That's all I needed was one space. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. GG's, y'all. GG's, GG's. Go, GG's. Yep. Let's go. Victory. Two points, man. Magneto being able to disrupt people like that is just it's super helpful. I'll take it though. The one thing about Snap you mustn't realize, okay? Um, don't rush your plays unless you know what you want to do a couple plays ahead. I don't know if that just made sense, but don't rush your plays, man. Always know what you're gonna do before you do it, okay? Like when you see your starting hand, you should already know. Okay, boom, on turn three, I'm gonna play Angela and, and Kitty Pride to get that early proc off or to get that immediate proc right there and there. On turn two, I'm gonna put Craven down and go ahead and set him up. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta already know these things in order to play successful or be a successful player in Marvel Snap, okay? Um, this is kind of bad, if I'm being honest. Not being able to put Craven in the middle kind of sucks. But knowing that we have all these move elements, it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna put Craven right here. 
And we're probably gonna Polaris on Craven. Not now, but soon. But this is what we're gonna do so far. He's probably, I say, he's probably playing Destroy. I kinda got that memo. Please give me priority and armor. 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 You know what? No card gets revealed this turn. This is good. It's giving me a chance to get armor. So I'm gonna bam. Bam. Give me armor, please. Please give me armor. Oh, they gave me armor, and I still have priority. You snapped a little too early, buddy. You snapped a little too early, bucko. I'm going to say that for sure. You snapped a little too early, man. It's okay. He didn't know. It's okay. <laughs> he just didn't know, you know? He probably got Kraven, too. Knowing this destroyed couple. That's, that's worse. Cosmo? Okay. Okay, boom. We got who we need. Mrs. Silk. Silk probably finna jump to the middle anyway, just to be honest. Um, I don't want Silk to jump to Monster Island. Not just yet. I want to see what he does first. Oh, okay. You you know you can't do that, right? Now you 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 immediately lost. Okay, bro, whatever. So yeah, Silk, you can go wherever you want to go now. Honey bun. <laughs> Where you wanna go, Silk? Oh, GG's. It's GG. It's GG's anyway. Like, I'm gonna snap back. I'm gonna go ahead and dap him up. Yeah, he retreated. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that, bro. Victory! Was that like, no, he wasn't a bot. He retreated and stuff. He even snapped. So it wasn't a bot. He just was, he just didn't know what he was doing. Okay, it happens, I guess. Okay, given by his profile picture, I'm going to get some discard. I don't know. I might be, though. It's, it looks like it. Um, Our starting hand is not the best. If we could have had Kitty Prod or even, even Craven. In our starting hand, that would have been pretty nice. It's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. Nightcrawler, that's kind of good. Yes, I really want to put Craven down as soon as possible now. Ooh. I gotta think here now because like this could work. Well, no, I doubt he's. I, I, I genuinely doubt he's playing a full-on move called a move. A, a move. You know. Okay, let's do silk here. Let's just do silk right. I just want to see what he plays next. If he's playing move, I might leave Fist Tower up. He's not playing move. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I armor on that. He got priority, too. So, he, so Silk could potentially die here. Ooh, but that right there is going to convince him not to play on that lane. Let's go ahead and do this and this. Yeah, do that and that. Let's do that. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I don't mean to cover up my mouth. I know the audio. Man, okay. So far, so okay. I don't expect him to play on that silk lane, bro. Why would you play on? You want some rocks, game? Just to try to kill my silk, huh? Okay, go for it. Come on, silk. Don't do it. And you did it. Pow. That, ugh, that hurts. Hey. I, I guess he just wanted to see some animations because he killed himself too. I'll take it, bro. I didn't lose then. It was kind of a fair transaction. Not really. My silk was five. <laughs> Not really at all. Um, I really wish I didn't put armor here then because I could have Polaris some stuff over here. But it's fine. It's okay, bro. Um. I don't want no rocks, that's for sure. He do. You can have him too. Um. Yeah, if only, if only I didn't armor on Fisk. I could have really did some stuff with that Polaris in the middle. It's okay though. Um, I think this is a pretty good game though. I think I won, if I'm being honest. I don't know yet, but I think I won. Strong guy. Interesting. It's, it really sucks. Not have. Ooh, I can do Polaris stuff. Let's go. I can put. I can pull a Koye over here. I'm not gonna do that yet. Do I get, do I get jug or something? No. Boom. Oh my gosh. I can do it now. I can do it now. I'm not gonna do it yet. I can do it now. Strong guy goes to. Oh wow. 11 power. How many cards does he have in his hand? I can't even see. Four. Is he gonna be able to dump four four cards? I'm gonna do this. We can win the mid for sure. And we might end up winning right as well, depending on if he doesn't play the right side. He didn't play the right side. I see what he's doing. He's trying to get rid of his hand just to get strong guy. But but why do that? Why do that though? Okay, whatever, bro. Opponent snap. Okay. He has to play mid to win here. He has to play the middle to win. 
What does he have in his hand? Like what? Two cards now? Three cards. Um, what does he play? Cause it's, uh, I think this is a good play. Let's go. I'm gonna go for it. He snapped too, so he gonna beat himself. Let's see if he just beat himself here. Looks like he did beat himself. A little hard actually. Pow pow, gun down. Oh wow. GG. Yeah, I just I just let him beat himself right there. I don't know what he had. Victory. Going on. I don't know what his plan was. It didn't work out though. Whatever it was. Ah, that sucks every time you see it. Okay. Well, let's try to make some things shake then, bro. Cause turn five is going to be a very expensive play in terms of energy goes. Okay, kitty. Ooh, this is actually right up me alley. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw Craven down. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw Craven down. I really would like to pull into Silk. Um, I don't want to do Polaris on Craven because then I'll be giving them two points, but it'll still help me. Oof, that sucks. Look at that. Ooh, the Space Throne is ass. Goodness, man. Ooh, okay. A nine cost forge. That's a lot. <laughs> All that for nine power, though? It's happening. Okay. Because imagine if I Juggernaut, whatever card he plays, until the Space Throne. Like, imagine, bro. I want to go for it. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to be able to play Vision next turn. So, and I think CC has a lot of power mid. He's not going to play, bro. He's going to do here. If he doesn't, then I suck. Okay, here we go. See? Told you. Come on, bro. Go to the Space Throne. That'd be so epic. Oh, that sucks. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it helped them, but it helped me, but, like, it helped them, too. Like, bro, Space Throne would have been so crazy. That would have been a hell of a play. I guess let's do this. Space Throne would have been so crazy. Um, maybe I could Magneto Space Throne. Maybe. This could be potential. He didn't play nothing. Is it, bro? Are you for real finna play Infinite? This dude finna play Infinite. Oh my goodness, yeah, take this L and this snap. Take this L and this snap. You want to see that little 40 power infinite? Yeah, I know exactly what you was going to do. Oh my goodness, yeah. I, pee I caught on to that real quick, bro. He tried to catch me lacking. No. Like, what? <laughs> like, no. This man tried to do me. GG's, bro. So there you go. You see, like, the deck, bro, like, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's broken. I feel like it's perfectly balanced, you know what I'm saying? If you can get those right draws, though, man, there's almost no... There's no reason for you to lose if you are, um, if you, if you have the competence to just do it. I'm gonna see y'all in the next, um, snap video, man. Uh, I don't know if y'all are aware, but there are a lot of different cars coming out in Marvel Snap, and I have to do a kind of, some kind of report on that or some. So, yeah, be tuned and stay tuned for that. Oh, oh, oh.